the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We are a group from the Coptic Orthodox Church of uh, Southern United States. Uh, I'm sure you know that the Coptic Church is the Egyptian Orthodox Church. This church has 2,000 years of history. It was founded by St. Mark. And every year, we like to visit one of our sister churches. Uh, we call it this team Mission Experience Team. So this year, through the grace of God, we decided to visit India. And our program is 12 days program. When we arrived to Delhi, we uh, stayed three days in Delhi, and we visited uh, some churches uh, there, and then we came to Kerala here. When we arrived to Kerala, we visited first the Jacobite uh, Orthodox Syrian Church, and after that, we visited the Malankara uh, Orthodox Church. Every place, actually, we, we visited also the institutions. We visited colleges, we visited schools, we visited uh, uh, communities uh, of, of people. And uh, actually, I am very, very touched by the godliness and spirituality of the people here in India. Uh, for example, on Sunday, when we went to the church around 8 in the morning, I found the church was packed to the people. Everybody was early in the church. And in spite of the crowd, in spite of the hot weather, people are standing in the fear of God. Children are very, very disciplined. I didn't see children going in and out. I didn't see children making noise. I didn't see children or youth uh, like using their phone during the liturgy. Everybody was focusing in, in prayer. Another observation, actually, is that everybody was participating. I enjoyed the participation of everybody. When they were chanting together, you know, I, I felt like I'm in heaven, like St. John the Theologian, when he said, you know, and everybody in heaven and on earth, they chanted together and said, I mean, Alleluia. I have the same experience. I, I did not understand the language of the liturgy, but just standing there among the people and feeling the zeal in their prayer, this really touched my heart. And the same day, or uh, same thing happened on Monday when we attended the liturgy of the feast of Saint Mary, the Mother of God. Every area we visited, we were uh, we, we received a very very warm welcome from the people. We are treated uh, like uh, kings and queens. Uh, and one of uh, the youth, the Indian youth, uh, told us something very interesting. Told us, uh, told us that we learn here that guests should be treated like gods. Gods, of course, with a small G, not with capital G. Uh, and, and we felt this treatment, the hospitality, the generosity, the humbleness of the people. Uh, they love one another. They love for us. They don't know us, but actually they showed us a lot of love. Actually, we are going back with a lot of experience, good experience. Uh, this is my first visit to India, and also the first visit to my whole team. Uh, and I said this morning, uh, before we visited India, we heard about this country. We read about it, we heard about it, and we knew about it. But there is a big difference between knowing about or knowing about and knowing. Uh, first, we heard about the country, but now we have experienced the country. We have seen it. We have visited places in it. This reminds me with the Queen of Sheba when she visited King Solomon. And after she was impressed by King Solomon and all his wisdom, she said to him, I heard about you 
But when I came, I found that what I heard about you is nothing compared with what I saw here. This is exactly our experience. What we heard about India is nothing compared with what we experience here. It is a blessed country, blessed congregation. We had the honor to uh, meet with His Holiness uh, Casuricus uh, Basilius Martomas Paul II. Uh, he uh, received all of us and we had a blessed time with him. Uh, we had actually the honor to meet many, many metropolitans and bishops. All of us received us with warm welcome, with love, with hospitality, with generosity. Uh, again, this happened with the clergy, with the dignitaries, with the VIP people of the uh, church, and also with all congregation. God bless you all. Uh, you left a very, very uh, good impression in our minds and in our hearts. You will be always in our hearts and in our prayers, and we ask also to pray for us uh, all the time. We are the same church, we are one church, we praise the same God, so we need actually to pray for each other, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.